Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today we're going to do a fun old song from the 90s. Um, if you were around in that decade, you definitely heard this song because it was played every five seconds on MTV and on the radio. You really couldn't escape it back then. And um, I was curious about this song. I was curious where the guy's from because he kind of has this strange accent when he sings. I thought he was maybe from Brazil or somewhere in South America. But they're actually from New Zealand. Like... I had no idea this was some like Flight of the Concords, one hit wonder kind of thing. And I heard it the other day. It always reminds me of springtime and summertime. So anyway, it's got a really cool guitar part in the intro. It's just kind of walking down some thirds out of C major. It's very similar to like a brown eyed girl type of thing. And then uh, we're going to do some of the vocal melody with triads. And then I'll show you some cool licks you can play. Kind of improvise this little solo at the end. And I'll show you some things you can play if you want to play this in a band or something. All right, so we're gonna start out with this cool intro, and all we're doing is just walking down the C major scale in thirds. So if you know your thirds intervals and your third patterns, this will be real simple. And really what makes this sound the way it does is the way he slides backwards on each set of strings when he goes down into the next third. And uh, just getting that right, sometimes we'll be sliding back on the B and E string together when they match up. And then when they don't match up, We'll just be sliding back on the B string, but we'll have our finger ready on the high E string to slide down on the next one, right? So that's kind of the trick to getting this is just sliding back on B and E and then sliding back on just the B string when they don't line up. So we're going to have... So we start out, I'm going to slide into these, I just like the way it sounds. We're going to have 13 on B, 12 on E, basically just outlining C major, G major, and F major. Alright, so we have 12, 13, B, and E, three down hits. Then we're going to slide into 12 and 10 on B and E. And this time again, three down hits, but on the third down hit, we're going to slide back two frets with the same shape to 10 and 8. Okay, and after we get 10 and 8, we're going to slide down to 8 and 7, B and E. But as we slide back, since the patterns don't line up, we're just going to be sliding back on the B string. But have your other finger ready to go and fret it on the high E string so we can get into the next third and slide that one down. All right, so we have... So after we go, we'll have 8, 7 on B and E. Hit it three times. Third time, slide back to 6 and 5. Then here we're going to slide back to 5 and 3 on B and E, but again we're not going to be hitting the E string, we're just going to slide back 6 to 5 on B. But have your index finger down on 3 as soon as you get there, ready to go. Then we're going to slide back 5 and 3 B and E to 3 and 1. Okay, and this is where the phrasing really comes in, and just, you're going to have to listen to the song to get it and just play along to it, right? So, so far you get... Hang on three and one. Three down hits, slide up the third time. And then hit five and three, B and E twice. And that second time, slide up into six on B. After you slide up five to six on B, hit six and five, B and E together. Hit it twice. Go back to 5 and 3, B and E. Hit 5 and 3, B and E once. Then we go back to 3 and 1. Hit it three times, third time slide up to 5 and 3. And hit 5 and 3 twice. Then we're going to walk up to 10 and 8, B and E. Then back up to 13, 12. Hit that twice. Then we have 12, 10, B and E. Slide back to 10 and 8. Then slide back from 10 to 8 on B. Then have 8 and 7, B and E. Slide back to 6 and 5. 
and then you're done. That's the whole pattern, right? So this is really all about the sliding and the phrasing. So it's kind of confusing to teach it slow, but playing it all together, I'll try to play it slow so we can get it down, right? <laughs> Okay, so that's your whole intro. Just sit there, it's at 125 beats a minute, so just start as slow as you need to start and just bump it up by like five beats a minute. And just keep going so you get it down. Play along to the song to get the phrasing right, okay? So after the intro, we get into what actually was the trickiest part of the song for me, it was getting this guy's rhythm, right? Every time you learn a song by somebody else, you have to get rid of your own feel and your own tendencies and take on somebody else's way of playing the guitar, right? So just getting the rhythm right and i still didn't play it exactly like he played it i kind of have a tendency to do these muted hits but all we're doing is just playing like c g f but we're kind of just playing the e a and d string we're almost playing these as like power chords so you're gonna have so we're gonna have three five five a d and g that'll be your c power chord two down hits we're gonna go to your little G power chord here. I go ahead and fret the G string, but you're really not gonna play it. So you could really just play all power chords here. Three on the low E, five on A and D, four on G. And then walk down the same shape, two frets to F major. So you'd have. So you do two down hits on C, two down hits on G. Kind of do a down up sometimes i do two but it's two hits either way and then you get to f and you kind of hang on f and this is where i i mute it but yeah, i think he just strums it straight so after you strum it you'll do a triplet down up down and then slide it back up to g you'll start on G with an upstroke, up, down, right? Okay, so pretty simple, pretty basic, and it just keeps repeating that throughout. And um, the other things I was doing was the vocal melody, right? When she goes, ooh, baby, you're making me crazy. We kind of do this. So we're gonna do this little triad thing. So I'm gonna slide up to a C major triad. We're gonna have 12 on G, 13 on B, 12 on E. I'm just gonna slide into it, give it a down up. And after I go down up, I'm gonna give it a muted hit. And then I'm gonna do two upstrokes on another C major triad, 988 eight, G, B, and E. And I'm gonna do muted down, up, down. And then we're gonna walk down G major triad, F major triad, to another F major. So we're gonna have nine on D, seven on G, eight on B. These will both be upstrokes on the G and the F. We're gonna go up, up, down. Okay, so after you have nine, seven, eight for G, we're gonna go down to F. We'll have your uh, seven on D, five on G, six on B and then back down to F again with a down hit. Three, two, one, D, G, and B. All right, so. Okay, and then from here, you're making me crazy. So then we'll go. We'll slide in to this G major, 12 on G, B, and E. Or I'm sorry, 12 on G and B, 10 on E. And then we'll go back to your uh, F major We'll have 10 on G and B and 8 on E. Back up to G and then to C, 12, 13, 12, right? Okay, so we're gonna have a... And after we do this little part, another down, up, down, mute. 
gonna walk down those same triads, upstroke on G, upstroke on F, downstroke on F. Okay, so. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna walk up F to G, seven, six, five, nine, seven, eight. And then we get into the every time I look around. So we're just going to repeat this over and over. So slide into your C major, 12, 13, 12. This is what I call the Wayne's World chord. If you remember the, the first Wayne's World, when he says, I know, I'll use the May I Help You riff. And this is exactly what he plays. Is so it's, yeah, anyway, Wayne's World. So we're going to slide into it. Um, where am I? slide into your C major 12 13 12 down up down hammer on with your pinky to 13 on the high E and take your pinky off hit it again and then we're gonna go G to F 12 12 10 10 10 8 okay I do some muted hits in between and I do the F on two upstrokes. I'm gonna do another muted hit. We're going between two F triads here, right? 10, 10, 8. And then 7, 6, 5, D, G, and B. Alright, so. So you do that like three times, maybe four times. You just repeat that same thing over and over again. And then to do the in my, it's, it's in my face, whatever she says, we just do that C major. Down, up, muted hit, up. And you can just slide off of it, right? So that's that whole little part. So let's go over all that real slow. We'll have, um, ooh baby, you're making me crazy. All that stuff, right? So we'll have. So then after that, um, every time he does the refrain and he says, how bizarre, they'll walk down the thirds pattern again, but he'll stop it after he slides back up from one to three. So every time after how bizarre, you're going to have... All right, same thing as the intro, we're just going to stop it there and we're not going to walk it up. So that's all that's going on. There's nothing new. It just stops as you slide back up from one to three. And then what else did I throw in there? Oh, there's that little harmonica part that comes in. So we're just going to go C, G, F, right? 12, 13, 12. And then 12, 12, 10. 10, 10, 8. Repeat this uh, twice. Okay, so that's everything. That's the intro. That's the little rhythm part during the verse. Um, then we did the vocal melody for the chorus. Then we're going to do this little trumpet solo thing. And we're going to try to mimic that. And it's just something on the high E string. We're just going to go from the 3rd fret to the 15th fret uh, from G to G. And kick on some overdrive so you have a little more sustain. And just do a really slow, gradual slide. And when you get to 15, you want to give it a really heavy, kind of wicked, nervous vibrato. You know, the kind you normally try to avoid. But when you're mimicking this trumpet and someone's breath giving vibrato, sometimes it's necessary to kind of do that stuff. Alright, so after 15, once you get there, 
vibrato. Then we're going to go 13, 15, 17 on E. All right, use your pinky. Use your pinky. Use your pinky. Don't use your ring finger. Go 13, 15, 17. Then pull off 17, 15 to 13. Back to 15 on E. More vibrato, right? Repeat that. Okay, let me do the little and get into the solo, okay? So that's that part, that's everything, right? So that's the intro, that's the, uh, the rhythm, the strumming chords during the verse. We did the vocal melody triads, we did the little harmonica triads, then we did the little trumpet part. So then I just noodled around, did this little solo. I kind of improvised most of this. All I had was the opening line of doing that little. Everything else I made up. So if I don't do this exactly like the intro, I apologize. So we start out. We're gonna bend up 15 on B and go 13 on B, give us some vibrato. And then get 14 on G. Okay, then we're gonna walk up. This is right out of your C major pentatonic. You could look at it as A minor pentatonic, but we're just gonna slide everything up from two frets back, right? So slide up three to five on the low E, get three on A. Then slide up five to seven on A, get five on D. Slide five to seven on D, get five on G. Slide up seven to nine on G, get eight on B. Slide up 8 to 10 on B, get 8 on E. So you have. Then we're going to bend up 10 on E. Go back to 8 on E. Give us some vibrato. And just hammer on to 10 on E. So you have. Okay, then we're going to go, uh, what I do? Did that so slide into 14 on G go 13 15 13 on B then I'm gonna bend up 16 on B and as I bend up I'm gonna slide out of the bend and bend up to 18 on B and after I hit 18 on B I'm gonna go back to 15 on B and pre-bend it and pull off to 13 After you pull off to 13, hit it again, give us some vibrato, and go 14 on G. Okay, and uh, what did I do next? Let's see. So then we're going to go 14 on G, kind of do the same kind of pattern, 13, 15, 13 on B. Then we're going to get into a little bit of minor here, just kind of hinting at it, right? So then we'll have 16 on B, bend that up, go to 13 on E. Then go to 15 on B, back to 13 on E, right? And repeat the same thing, go back to 16, bend up, and go back to 13 on E. Second time, we're going to bend up 15 on B, uh, bend up 15 on B with your ring finger, get 15 on E with your pinky underneath, bring down the bend, pull off 15 to 13, get 14 on G, right? So you'll have... gonna did I repeat the same thing yeah then we go back do the same bend between 16 and 15 and 13 on the high E string and then we're gonna walk it down I'm gonna bend up 16 on E to 15 bend up 16 one more time I'm just going to go 14 
or 13, 14, 15, 14. And bend up 15, bring it down, 13. And slide off, right? So you'll have a... Um, okay and then we're gonna do um i love doing this kind of stuff i think i did this little like hendrix type of thing i'm gonna go uh, <laughs> Something like that, right? Yeah, I think that's what I did. So, have 12 on G, 13 on B. We're going to hammer on to 14 on G. This is all phrasing. And I'm going to go back. Uh, back and forth between. Hammering on to 14. Hitting G and B, 12 and 13. Hammer on to 14 G. Go back to 12, 13, G and B, and then hit 14 on the D string, and I'm going to do that like twice, just kind of phrase it like that. Then I'm going to bar G and B on 10, hammer on the 12 on G, and then get 12 on D, and from here... I'm going to have right out of C major, I'm going to have uh, 9 on G, 8 on B, hammer on to 10 on G. Go back to uh, 8 and 9 G and B. And get 10 on D string. Alright, so. Is that right? So after we go down, then we're going to go, I'm going to have 7 on G, 8 on B, hammer on to 9 on G, and then go back and hit 7, 8, and then get your pinky on 10 on the D string. Then we're right in your C major, box 1, bar of G and B on 5, hammer on to 7 on G. Next set of strings, D and G on five, hammer on to seven on D. All right, so, uh, man, this is hard to break down slow. I'm sorry if I'm fumbling through this. Let's see. Uh, down I'm hammering on and going to that D below it same thing here right hammer on to 7 on D and get 7 on A slide back to 5 and then get 3 on the A string and then I just slide off right Do this little repeating lick. You can play this anywhere, you can play it. Just thought it sounded cool down here. So just bar uh, E and A on three, hammer on to five on the low E string, and then pick the A string with an upstroke. Many times I do it. Yeah, I do it eight times, and the eighth time you kind of hit five on A and slide off. And I just 
just kept doing that over and over. I didn't really have a dismount or any kind of ending. I was just noodling around making all that stuff up. So I'm pretty sure that's the majority of what I played in the intro was correct there. But it's just a fun little thing to noodle around with in C major pentatonic. If you're playing this in a band, you can take a solo. There's a lot of freedom because it's just the same three chords over and over again. But I thought it'd be a fun song to work on practicing your triads, work on improvising a solo, and just, you know, do some fun rhythm stuff within it, right? So that's everything. Hope you find something in here that you can use. Just practice slow, have fun. I'll see you next time.